Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. And I'm Matt. On today's episode, we're talking about the Irishman and their Founders Reserve. Don't you forget to hit that like and subscribe button, click that notification bell. Matt, can you tell me a little bit more about this particular whiskey? I can. So this is the Irishman's Small Batch Irish Whiskey. This is the Founders Reserve edition. This is the first thing ever made by the Walser Soy, which we will link you guys the history of the Walser which we just did with the Rider's Tears. All right. This was a made to focus on the people and the traditions of Ireland and the people that live there. Once again, this is also going to focus more on the single malt side of it, whereas it focuses more on pot still with the Rider's Tears. And once again, no grain. Uh, so what this is, is a combination of 70% single malt, 30% single, pop, single pot still. It is a 40% as well. It is there vatted together. Like I said, no grain. It is the original whiskey created by Walsh. It is all ex bourbon. This start, first started coming out in 2013. It's triple still, uses, but also uses only Irish barley, which is kind of cool. And this was called the, they are coming with a completely new shape and design, the name for this one. The swatch is going to turn into something called the Harvest, which is going to celebrate the tradition of Irish Agricultural Society and distilling. So it's totally new shape and everything. But so it's not in the United States yet, but that's when you find eventually the Harvest, the same thing as a small batch. So. Cooler name, but you know that's what it's going to be. So let's see what we think of this. Well, before we get into uh, to that, uh, since we're not going to have to go over the history on this one, uh, why don't we remind our viewers the difference between a single grain and a single pot still for Irish whiskey? We should do that. All right. So single malt, of course, is all malt, all malted barley, and single pot still is a combination of malted barley and unmalted barley. And the reason for that was so that you could screw the British out of taxes because they only tax the malted barley because they're smart. So you had to do that to screw them out of it. It's a good plan, and I like it. But it also adds a, a very fruity characteristic when you use a single pot still, and a lot of tropical fruits you generally come out. So this is, the once again, they're the first ones to make this combination that's putting these two together with zero grains. So it's very interesting. So once again, it has a lot of blend because of that, but there's no grain in it. So it's kind of a really cool... Um, I don't know what else that does this either. So instead, they're the first ones to do it. I don't think anybody's replicated that I'm aware of. So, oh, it's really cool, though. Let's yeah. see what we think, since there's way more single malt than uh, single pot still on this one. See, and I don't get the butteriness that I typically find mm -hmm. in a single pot still whiskey. Agree, completely. I, I get I a lot of find more of the more of the notes that I typically associate with scotch, just those single malt notes. I got a big green apple, the malt, yeah. honey, so I'm, vanilla. I'm like apple pie, the big old scoop of vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Peaches, mm -hmm. pears, a little like syrup cling. Down into like the apricots. It's very sweet. It is. Very sugary. Uh-huh. Like a granulated sugar even, I'd say, with like some marzipan. It smells good. Yeah. But it, does, it definitely smells unique. It doesn't smell like, you know, definitely smells like a combination of the both. It's a whipped vanilla topping. Mmm, like a meringue type of thing. Yeah. So I get like this, um, like a baked pie crust even now on the outside of it. Yeah. Yeah, the first memory that hit me was just a big old slice of apple pie. Totally. You that, said that's the it. word apple and it just went like boom. Yeah. Flashbacks. Yeah, it's, it's the kind of like the lattice on it with the, 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 the sugar on it. Not the kind with the crumbles. It's like the lattice with the sugar dusting whatever you want to call that mm -hmm. it smells really good it does it smells like i'm gonna enjoy this 40 percent again yeah 40 percent which amazing mm. okay not as buttery and oily as the writer's tears i don't think but a lot more single malt notes very yeah. malty honey and fruitier very fruity which is I'm getting, interesting. I'm getting all of those apricots and 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 mm -hmm. apple for totally apple. It's a it's a Granny Smith. Got to get that sour tang. Mm -hmm. Kind of nice Lots dark of, chocolate. Yeah, and I'm getting a lot of the cereal tones, a lot of the granola tones. Mm -hmm. and, totally. That I get in a lot of single malts. That's with some, delicious. With some uh, like cardamom, coriander, like an orange bitter finish. 
much like with the writer's tiers, I feel like this punch is a little bit above its weight class. I wouldn't yeah. probably call this 40%. There's a nice oily cling, um, a nice rich viscousness. It doesn't punch you in the face like a 50%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's got like a nice little black pepper, salty, like a, like an ocean salinity uh, finish to it. A little mm -hmm. bit of drying tannicness. That's, that's really nice. That, that's a good whiskey. Yep. And these things, I think these, when I bought this back in the day, I think it's also like 20, it was like 25 and they're up to 30 bucks now. So it's still, it's still not bad. At 30, I'm very happy with my purchase. Mm -hmm. Even at 40% ABV. But the good news is these guys also make some spectacular 12 years, 17 years cast strength that we'll get to review as well in the near future that are just, and some of them are never going to open. So I'll be very excited to try some of those in the future too. Near future. This is you a relative him. term. You heard him. You heard it him, could right? be five years from now. This is definitely possible. You know, we we have plenty of whiskeys to make it that long. Oh, and, and, and we're getting more donations all the time. Thanks to our Try. wonderful, wonderful uh, subscribers. Absolutely. But yeah, this is really good. I mean, same thing. I think I learned about this in the Whiskey Vault as well back in the day. when This may have been the very first one or really close to the first one. I know it was in the first one or two. It was super early on. Yeah, I remember they did like four Irish. Yeah, it was like color. this, the Rider Tears. I think like the red-headed Rider Tears and some, something else. I remember what it was, but it was really interesting. I was like, what are those? Of course, had to go buy them at that point in time because, you know, why not? And they were cheap and findable. The rest of the writers, the uh, rest of the writer shares in Irishman were really hard to find at the beginning. So the good news is it's easier to find than they used to be. So you know, I like that good stuff. Cool. Yeah, well, I like it for thirty bucks. I'm I'm happy. Absolutely. All right. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. We're also live every Monday night, where you can come hang out with us, join the conversation, become part of the community. Until next time, keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers.